In this video, I'm going to give my review and recommendation of CS513 Theory and Practice of Data Cleaning, a course offered in the Illinois MCS program. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Will. I'm an engineering manager and online master's degree student at the Illinois MCS program. And on this channel, I share my experiences with online learning and my career growth as a software developer. Today, I'm gonna to give an overview of CS513 and give my opinions on the course. I've timestamped all of the sections, so feel free to jump around. So what's covered in CS513? Well, at the beginning of the course, you'll learn how to recognize common data quality problems and get introduced to the practice of data cleaning. The first practical data cleaning technique you'll learn is regular expressions for matching, filtering, and extracting data. The next chunk of the course will introduce you to open or fine tool set and how it can be leveraged to identify quality issues and to clean and normalize data. To me, this is the most important tool and valuable tool you'll learn in the course. At the end of the course, you'll learn about data log and integrity constraints, workflows, and finally, data province. Okay, so what's the time coming in the course? Well, CS513 is by far the lightest and the easiest course I've taken thus far in the MCS program. Like all Coursera and MCS classes, there are weekly lectures on Coursera, but for CS513, they're all very light and consumable. So the meat of the course is five auto-graded programming assignments. They're pretty easy if you follow the instructions and only take a couple hours to complete. The workflow and data provenance assignment took a little bit longer than the rest. It was pretty difficult for me, but still it only took five hours to complete. So the last component of the class is a group project, which is still pretty easy and light to complete. You'll need to coordinate with your group on the project objectives, which are pretty much data cleaning with open or fine, doing some schema work, creating some workflow, and then finally, summarizing it all in a report. For the second half of the course, expect to spend about 15 to 20 hours completing this group project. So what did I like about CS 513? To be honest, if this course wasn't a 500 level course that met the advanced coursework requirements and being such a light and easy course, I wouldn't have even considered taking this class. If there was one thing I took from this class that wasn't useful at all, it was learning and getting exposed to Open or Find, which is a pretty cool tool set that lets you explore and clean data. Okay, so what didn't I like about CS513? I didn't like the second half of the lectures where we talked about data log, workflow, and provenance. I can understand where workflow would be useful in academia where you were trying to reproduce someone else's results and work. But for example, data log, I'm still not even sure when people would ever wanna use that or apply it. To me, these last couple of lectures were just really boring to me and I didn't enjoy them at all. All right, so let's get into the ratings and my final thoughts on CS513. So first up is the difficulty rating, with one being absolutely brain dead and 10 being near impossible. Well, as I've said before, CS513 is the easiest class and pretty much straightforward, so it gets a three out of 10 on the difficulty scale. Next is the grading scale, with one being absolutely punishing and almost impossible to get an A, and 10 being basically A's for days, guaranteed A. CS513, the grade is 75% those five assignments and then 25% group project. And the grade scale is quite reasonable as well, so I give this a nine out of 10 grade score. The next rating is the time commitment, with one being you have absolutely zero free time outside of this class and 10 being you can go weeks on end without having to ever check in with the class. In this class, you can do the homework assignments in advance. If it weren't for the group project, you could probably finish this entire course in two weeks. So with that, I get the time commitment, a nine out of 10 score. So the last rating is the usefulness or the utility score with one being why would you ever wanna learn anything in this class and 10 being immediately useful to your job or to a desirable skill for a new career. So this rating is quite subjective. If you're gonna be a data scientist or work in academia, some of these concepts are more applicable than others. But for me, someone who will probably never use much data cleaning, I give this a three out of 10 score. So in my opinion, if you want a super simple summer class that knocks out a 500 level course requirement for the MCS, then take this class, but don't expect to learn a ton or be blown away by the topics covered in the class. If you are interested in learning more about the courses offered in the Illinois MCS program, check out my short playlist that covers my reviews of the classes I've taken so far. See you in there.